Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus Nine from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be doing a bit, a bit of a fault finding video. I showed you how I uh, uh, do fault find my the hardware itself for uh, Siemens S1200 series PLCs. These particular PLCs, I picked them up uh, as a job lot uh, probably about four or five months ago. Completely, completely forgot about them. Just shoved them on the shelf, and then I thought I'll look at it some other day and. Yeah, forgot about it. So today we are going to have a look at them because the, when I purchased them, the, the seller said that uh, he does not know their condition. I don't know, he doesn't know where they come from in, 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 and he's selling them as faulty. So uh, I can see in one of the boxes, which I'll show in a minute, it says uh, the faulty I.O. So we're going to check that one first. So uh, and I'll run you through procedures, how I set up my uh, uh, fault finding for the hardware itself. It's a hardware only, so make sure the ports are working, the I.O.s are working, the the, 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 the cartridge part is, is working and the side uh, side connection is working so and things like that, uh, analogs and just make sure the controller is in good condition and see if we can find out if there's anything wrong with them so yeah at the moment at this stage I don't know so uh, and could be possibly all four controllers are good I know one of them uh, has got the terminal missing that's not big of an issue so yeah that's what we do today so without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, there we are. So these are the four the controls I got. So as I said, I know this one in here It's got uh, a uh, terminal missing. So the one we got in here is ACDC relay uh, uh, One two one two C. It's a smaller one. Uh, what I'm gonna do on the camera We're gonna test uh, I'll show you how to test only one of them and I give you a verdict of all of them in the end of the video See if there's anything wrong with them at all. So they, they, they literally look well. This one looks quite used I've seen a uh, the uh, better days maybe and then, uh, then we have a uh, 2DC one that was actually came in, in a box and it actually says in here 40 IO01 that's the first one we are going to be testing so uh, but it's been scratched off maybe they, they I don't know we'll find out in a minute if that IO has got any fault so we got a uh, two again don't think they've been used As you can see all the terminals in here looks looks not even touched so, uh, so yeah, we'll check. We'll, we'll obviously we we'll check them all. As I said, they were they were purchased as faulty, so we will find out if there's anything wrong with them at all. So yeah, we're gonna start with this one. So yeah, these are we got two DC DC uh, relays, and one we got one AC DC relay. So we're gonna we're gonna start with that one. So let me let me plug all the cards in. I'll show you how I test it. So make sure that the controller is in good working condition. So here we are, so I already loaded in the program into this guy in here from there So from uh, from the into this this controller is uh, already so does not look like it's got issues with power or anything like that All working with that one as you can see I'm running the uh, running the uh, power cables already in there so we can talk it through So I've got my analog card to test the side connector to make sure there's communication between these uh, continuation So that's all fine as you can see my analog card in here it's fully working because the light is on. So quite often uh, people plug these cards on and I'm, killed, I'm, I'm myself guilty of those at the very beginning, not realizing. Plugging these cards onto it when the power is on. When you do that, it kills, it kills the board in the back and is no longer a uh, function. So, uh, so that seems to be working well, it gets recognized. So uh, we're gonna be using this analog cables in here. So uh, analog output card, we're going to be sending a signal from there into these analog inputs in here, checking, making sure that they are more or less are close to each other, which is going to be, I think the maximum was 27,000 something, which is going to edit 27,000 uh, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, in our program in a minute, in the software. Let's see if they uh, uh, match up. And uh, if that does, those analogs are good. Guys, I've done all the wiring videos already before for these controllers. We're not going to go into depth of this. So the first thing what we're going to do, I quickly jump onto the, let's jump on the laptop. I'll show you the program. So this is the program that we've done. So what I have in here is uh, I uh, will be activating all the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, digital inputs. So each digital input will be activating some form of a uh, uh, output and my digital input one, no, zero, sorry, zero, zero, will activate all of them as well. For me to test all the relay outputs for this particular program so as you can see i just created like a small program in here to test test all the inputs and outputs and as you can see in here there's my network for the analog inputs as well 
So, uh, and there's my uh, analog output, which is going to be sending signal to these guys to make sure they are reading correctly. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all we really need to do to determine that the controller is a full functioning, uh, fully functioning. This controller was used, so because IP address was a set already. So, uh, so not that one, this one. So let's f first we're going to do. I'm going to remove this this power cable from here because uh, I need it. So as you can see, that one starts flashing. That's, that's for diagnostics purposes to tell you that the power is missing from the card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this cable in here, quickly run through my inputs and making sure they're activating and not just activating, also being recognized within the program, which will tell me if the outputs are coming on. So well, let's go first one. As we, oh, well that seems to be working. So I, I can't see any any problems. I'm just holding it. So problem IO 0.0, .0 is working very well. Two, three, that's, that's three, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like all the inputs are working very well. So that is, uh, uh, thank you very much. That works, that is an absolute treat. What well, next we're going to do, as you can see, I'm going to put the cable in here and it closed off all my, uh, my relays in here. What we're going to use, we're going to use our uh, meter because it's relay output and it's got two sections. We've got L1 and L2. So L1 is going to be COM for all of these, all the way to 4. And L2 is going to be uh, 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 COM for 5, 5, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, 0, and 1, whatever that is down there. Yeah, whatever that is down there. So uh, yeah, let's put in uh, a resistance mode. So we put a 1 meter on uh, uh, our COM. Which technically, if the relay is on, there should be a beep. Let's put the beep on it. So as the relays would normally work, that's working, beeping. I'm not sure you can hear the beep, but uh, it's beeping, beeping, beeping. As the next one that we need to move into the, the remember, this is the next section of the com. And it looks like all the relay outputs are healthy and working absolutely fine. So that flash. That red flashing is really annoying me, so uh, I just take that one in there and uh, uh, move it in here so it stops flashing. So basically, that's that. But if you if you got power missing from your uh, cards, it will start flashing red. So next up, next up, we are going to be checking. Let's start actually with the number of first channel in here. Our uh, our uh, analog input one. So we're going to be outputting voltage from here into the analog input and we should be getting the reading, pretty solid reading into these analog inputs when the analog output is sending out. So let's jump back on our laptop. Again, the wrong camera. Sorry guys, I'm still messing, messing around with my cameras. Still can't seem to get it right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the watch. So, uh, and go in here, let's check out how the analogs are coming. So looks like oh, did I have digit in there? Oh, that's because I'm using this 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 particular part of the program I'm using for the other uh, we've been using for other controllers. Looks like it saved that twenty seven thousand. Oh no, I'm not sure now. So yeah, so here's twenty seven thousand coming out. So it normally would be uh, zero. Let's do that. So look at that, that's working really well. So our, our analog, so basically what you're doing is from sending a, a analog signal from here, which is in integer value. If you go into your uh, uh, PLC tags and show all tags. So uh, as you can see, integers. So because these are analog uh, analog values for this, these particular analog inputs and analog outputs, uh, they are for Siemens, they are something 27, 000, 0 to 27,000 or something. I'm sure you guys already know it. So uh, let's, let's, uh, let's put 27,000 back in. We double click on that one, the 27,000, just to give me a rough idea. So that seems to be coming across quite nicely. So what we're going to do, we are going to... Is it this one? Yeah, we're gonna jump back on there. We quickly measure that the voltage is coming out correctly. So we are getting 9.75 volts, so that is fine. So 
let's move and check the second channel. Uh, let's have a look at the second channel. And as you can see, second channel is pretty solid as well. That, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. This is how I uh, check uh, the uh, controllers. It looks like I've, I've got lucky with this uh, particular controller. So what I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to go through and check all the other three. And I'll be right back. So having done all the rest of the controllers, I did not find any single fault in them. So they are all fully working. Even the one with missing uh, terminal, I think somebody just borrowed that terminal for something else, and that's why it's not there. Everything else, everything is working. These these uh, these controllers going to go online in uh, in uh, possibly next week again, whenever I get out of my laziness. But yeah, that's ladies and gentlemen how I do the test in the controllers. So that's pretty much uh, a, a good way to determine if the controller is working uh, in good order, no order, making sure everything is inputs, outputs, and all the all the sides and connectors are working. So yeah, as usual, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you next video.